Hello, good people of the Precious Metal community. Silver Wolves here. Have I got a great video for you. $250 grab bag from Treasure Town. Unboxing. Contents a new. So please stay tuned. So a quick footnote before we open this uh, mystery box. Uh, for those of you that don't know Treasure Town, it's an educational channel on YouTube related to all things coinage, precious metals, paper currency. I highly recommend. I left a link below to his channel. So about a week ago, I came across a few videos where Christian from Treasure Town decided to experiment and spend his hard-earned money and purchase grab bags of different dominations to determine whether the content in those grab bags was equal to what he paid for. Unfortunately, those grab bags didn't live up to expectations. They, they fell short. Um, by the way, Christian is also a uh, Christian of Treasure Town who, who also works at a coin shop. Decided, as he stated in his video, to take a turn to the dark side. Um, put together grab bags with coinage that would equal to what you pay for. Um, Treasure Town did reach out to me via email and asked if there was anything specific I would like included, which was awesome. And I told him uh, Canadian coinage. I love Canadian junk silver. It's really hard to come by here in the U.S. unless you're buying from a major uh, bullion site. But enough of that. I am ridiculous, <laughs> ridiculously excited right now. It's like Christmas. Gotta open this box. Let's get to it, guys. Exacto knife. A stacker's best friend. So, priority mail. You can see it's a nice shake this box up. I don't hear, you don't hear any coins. Well packaged. Um, I really don't want to do this. I, I am so excited. I love the suspense. Uh, right. So here we go. Way. It's pretty heavy. He, uh, in his video, he did say that he was going to include um, a pound of uh, uh, a world world coinage. So, actually, let's put this aside. I want to see what's in this package first. Oh, man. You guys excited? Oh, don't want to. Oh man, don't want to cut my uh, little map there. All right, let's pull this out. Oh wow, Canada. Oh, Canada. Oh, that's pretty cool. Little package there. Wow. Look at that. Let's see. Can we see that? Now, um, I'm still relatively new to stacking and collecting. So I'm not going to be able to provide much knowledge on what I'm looking at here. Uh, feel free to leave some comments below. But this is pretty awesome. I, I don't even know if this is silver. I got a lot of research to do. A lot of homework, which I'm excited. Oh, 1973. That's cool. Um, 1873 to 1973. Canadian dollar. Wow. That's awesome. Put this back in there. Let's close that up. Put this aside. Alright. Wow. Well, that's that has some weight to it right there. I don't know. Yeah, save that for <laughs> All right. Well, he did a really good job packing this up. Whoa, this is so cool. Wow. 
What is, oh, I think I see a, uh, let's get this out of here. He did say he's going to include some American junk silver. Oh, wow, what's this? Oh, wow. Awesome. Walking Liberty. Let's see, get, get in view here. So this looks like um, this looks like European coinage. Uh, some more Canadian. Sorry about the lighting, guys. Um, I'll probably do a video later on of um, some of the stuff that I'm looking at here. I also plan on bringing this to my local coin shop and having the uh, the owner assess what I'm looking at. I should. Got to give him a call. Uh, pretty busy right now with work and so forth, so I'm not sure when I'll be able to get there. But these coins, these coins look really interesting. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of history behind. Oh wow! Oh, a buffalo nickel, 1937. Uh, something to do with the Olympics. Man. Wow. Um, I see a Mercury there. I think that's Standing Liberty. Wow. Yeah, we already looked at that. Oh, that's a cool coin. Uh, yeah, I'm... Oh, I got something else in here. Let's see. Oh, these are Canadian quarter. This is definitely this. I know this is silver. This is a PCGS. Let's see. Uh, Twenty-five cent. Well, he definitely lived up to um, providing Canadian coinage for me. Put this aside. Yeah, I'm trying to go through this quick. I'm still relatively um, uh, new to YouTube channel, so I, I'm not. Sh I think I got 15 minutes. See the Canadian 10 cent dime, the blue nose. Got the quarter. This is, uh, th these are in perfect condition. Oh, has, um, I think this is one side. Has, has a little description of what I'm looking at here. Wow, this is so cool. Not for the heavy bag, the heavy box. Now, this is really, really well put together. Christian, if you're watching this, thank you so much. This is, this is, this is so awesome. This is going to give me a lot to do to learn about coins and So this is the um yeah this is this is definitely a pound of European coinage. Oh. Got the cap here. This is so well taped together. I gotta 
I have another Ziploc bag I could put this in. Um, let's just grab a random coin and see what we got. Uh, I don't know. I have no clue what I'm looking at here. It looks like Arabic. Let's see if I could zoom in there. Well, I'm gonna be. I'm. I'm. I'm gonna definitely have my work cut out for me here. The Republic of Portuguese, Portugal, 1961. Let's see this. Um, this looks possibly Korean, Japanese. Oh wow! I could be here all day. See, I can't see the Republica of Italia. All right, half Italian, so that covers that. Yeah, this is this is this is uh, gotta get back to that. Let's see what we got here. United States Mint Silver Proof Set, two thousand and one. All right, we got some silver proof quarters. Some Kennedys. I don't know. So, what do you guys think so far? $250 worth? Yeah, this is. This is definitely going to educate myself. Um. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'm gonna, gonna go through all this stuff. Uh, I'm gonna probably probably be a, a two part video. I'm gonna bring this. I'm gonna box this stuff back up and bring it to my local coin shop and have the owner assess what he thinks of it. And hope you enjoyed. Thank you. I'm back, guys. I missed a package. Um, I have some paper currency here that was included in the grab bag. Also a Treasure Town sticker with, um, I guess, Christian's signature, which is pretty cool. Um, I guess this is also included uh, ways you can support Treasure Town. Looks like he also included a uh, inventory of um, the, the value of, of what what I received, but yeah, I just wanted to include that. Didn't want to miss out on this. Uh, Christian did ask me to make a video and include it on my YouTube channel. Uh, well, hopefully you guys re really enjoyed this. And uh, again, I'm going to reach out to my local coin shop. I'm probably going to give them a call after this and set something up. But thanks again for stopping by. Don't forget to press that like and subscribe. Peace out.